I'm ready. My my fellows, Rayan, my fellow Rayan just amazed you at how sophisticated the robots are and how important they are. And I'm going also to amaze you even more with another technology in mechanical engineering. It is yet it is, it is simpler than the robots, but it is very important. And yes, we mechanical engineers, we arrive. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever imagined that bringing two bald heads and just making them rep against each other, what would happen if we do that? A spark, or they might join together. Actually, I'm joking. But guess what? If we bring two objects together and we make them rep against each other, at the end they will join. This is the principle of friction welding. So let me first define what does welding mean. Welding actually, according to the American Welding Society, is permanently joining two objects together. So two objects are brought together, they are joined permanently, and this is welding in simple words. So when did welding begin? Or who invented welding? Actually, welding was invented by the English Edmund Davy in the early 1836 and it, it was fusion welding. This is one one type of welding and there is the friction welding which we shall be talking about. But let me first emphasize why welding is important. Welding is much simpler than the robots. It is very simple but it is very important. Now the chairs that you're sitting on, the frame of the chair, it is welded together. So welding is everywhere. It's in industry, in everywhere, in everyday life, we have welded objects. So that's why there are associations only specialized on welding, like the American uh, Welding Society, and also like the British, the British Welding Research Association. So yes, welding is very important, but what is the conventional welding method that is used these days or nowadays, the common one? It is actually the fusion welding. And what I mean by fusion welding, we bring two objects together and we melt them at the joint. And probably you've already seen that someone is, is handling like a gun, there's like a torch, she's wearing that black goggles. So this is actually a fusion welding. You bring two objects together, you just melt them at the joint, they are permanently joined. This is the fusion welding, the conventional method. And what is the problem with this method? or why we want to migrate to friction welding. Let me first define what is friction welding. As I told, we just bring two objects together, we, we rub them against each other using friction, and at the end they will be joined. So the problem with the fusion welding, we have to melt the object. So one problem that the object has to be from the same material. So the, the, the two parts, they have to be from the same material, and we will go to the melting temperature of these two materials, and one material, two objects, and they will be joined. But now what if we want to join, for example, steel with aluminum? Aluminum melting temperature is around 400, and steel is around 1400. So way difference, it is way different. If we weld the steel at 1400, definitely aluminum will be gone. It will be like liquid. So it doesn't work. It's impossible to weld two different materials with, with the conventional visual. Though this is our this is why our hero friction welding comes in. Friction welding actually is a solid state welding process. So there is no melting happening actually. The temperature of the process, it will be way less than the melting temperature of the materials. So it will allow us to join two different materials. Like, like I said, the aluminum and the steel together. And actually one of the application, the most common application for friction welding is the aerospace industry. Now in the aerospace industry or in airplanes in general, we want to make the airplane as light as possible to increase the efficiency. So the structure we want it to be as light as possible, but at the same time, we want to maintain its strength. So we will be using different materials like aluminum. Actually, all the airplanes right now, they are made from alloys like steel, aluminum alloys, and we have to weld them at the end. And friction, is still, uh, friction welding is used as a main process to weld these structures. So a 
according to the American Welding Society, there, there are like three main benefits of friction welding. The first one, when we weld two objects together, there is a heat affected zone, which is the, the, the place where you perform the welding. So it will be affected by heat and the microstructure of the material will be changed. So friction welding avoid this problem because the temperature is much less and it will be, there's, there will be no problem for the microstructure. The second benefit for the fusion welding, before performing the welding, we have to clean the surface and to perform some preparation. And this will be avoided because in friction welding, once the, the objects start rubbing against each other, the surfaces will be cleaned and then will be joined together. So no preparation needed. And the third one is a lot of the, the main one, which is friction welding allows us to weld two different materials, which was impossible using the conventional way. However, some people claim that friction welding is relatively more expensive than the fusion welding. And now research is going on to develop a process to make it more efficient, to make it cheaper. And yes, friction welding allows us to join different materials and it opens a lot of new applications, new inventions to the world to make it possible. Thank you for your listening and back to you.